Moto Guru. In this video, I'm going to step through the initial setup process for the Garmin Zemo XT. So the first step is to remove the screen cover. Next, I'll power on the device for the first time. I'll select a locale, in my case the United Kingdom, read through the end user license agreements and then click accept all to proceed. So next it says connect to the Garmin Drive mobile app to access additional features for your Zemo XT and these include live traffic updates, smart notifications and hands-free calling. So I'm going to click connect now. Next, I'm going to get the Garmin Drive app from the App Store on my smartphone. So I'll open the Play Store on my smartphone and search for Garmin Drive and then click Install. Once the app is installed, I'll click Open. I'm going to agree to the end user license agreement and click Next. And also agree to this safety warning about paying attention while driving. Next, under Select Your Device, I select Navigation Device. And it says to pair, we'll need Bluetooth to be turned on. We'll also ask for location services permission in order to scan for nearby devices. So I click on Continue and then click on Allow to allow access to location services. So the phone is now scanning for the Zemo XT. And it's found it. So I'll click Yes on the Zemo XT and OK on my phone to pair the devices. I'm also going to allow access to contacts for the Zemo XT. Next, the Zemo XT prompts you to consent to Garmin collecting, using and sharing your device data in order to improve their products and services. I'll click yes because I'm happy with that. And next on the phone, I need to sign into my Garmin account in order to continue. I already have a Garmin account. It's the same account you would use to sign in to Garmin.com. So I'll click sign in. If you don't have a Garmin account already, you can click create new to create a new account. Once I've entered my credentials, I click Next to sign in. Now I'm prompted to set the notification permissions for smart notifications. So I click Set Notification Permissions. And this opens the notification section of my smartphone. So I'm going to enable notifications for the Drive app. And this will enable uh, smart notifications such as text messages and emails to be displayed on the Zemo XT. So I'm going to click allow. And then I'm going to click back to return to the Garmin Drive app. When you return to the Garmin Drive app, you're presented with a slideshow about the Garmin Explore function. The Garmin Explore function enables you to sync data between your device and the cloud using your Garmin account and I'll be featuring this in a future video. So as we view through the slideshow it gives you some more information about uh, Garmin Explore and then you can either click continue or just wait for the countdown timer to get to the final screen. I'm going to enable Garmin Explore because I think it's an exciting new feature but you may choose to do this later. So I'm going to click enable and that concludes the setup steps for the Drive app. So on the Zemo XT, I'll click Done. And next it prompts me to connect to a Wi-Fi network. One of the exciting new features of the Garmin Zemo XT is that you can connect to Wi-Fi to download map and software updates. So I'll connect to my wireless network. Finally, I'm prompted to connect to a Bluetooth headset to hear navigation instructions, listen to music and make hands-free calls. I'm going to be using a FIO Micro BTR Bluetooth receiver and I'm going to be using it mainly for navigation instructions and listening to music. It does have a built-in microphone but it's not really suitable for making and receiving calls on a motorcycle. So I put the FIO in pairing mode and I click connect now. And the Zumo has found it, so I select a FIO Micro BTR and click Connect. And that takes us to the initial warning screen on the Zumo, and I click Agree. 
And now we're at the home screen. So that concludes the initial setup of the Garmin Zemo XT. And you can see if you look along the top of the device, Bluetooth is connected, the phone is connected, the Garmin Drive app is connected, and Wi-Fi is also connected. So now we've completed everything, we're ready to hit the road. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, share, and subscribe.